Back in the 1960s, underpaid farm workers in California fought to unionize. We've all heard the name Cesar Chavez. There's a day for him. But did you know that his co-founder of the National Farm Workers Union was raised in Stockton? I caught up with Dolores Huerta at a photo exhibit in her honor. The California Museum in Sacramento has a national touring photo exhibit of Dolores Huerta helping organize farm workers to get them a decent wage and humane treatment. The 1960s was a time of change in America. For Dolores and Cesar Chavez, it was a long, dusty struggle for respect. And if it's a national photo exhibit about you, you've likely contributed much to the cause. I mean, this is the Smithsonian. This is, I know, it's a big this is nice, mm -hmm. right? Would it? Were, were, were you beaming with pride? I mean, are you are you prideful? Oh, I, I of course I'm very very proud, and at the same time very humble uh, to know that this is happening, but also to know that this is not my story, right? This is the story of the farm worker movement. And it's also a story about Dolores growing up in Stockton. From 1955 to now, she's still on the front line. Dolores was also named as one of the 100 most important women of the 20th century, along with Mother Teresa, Rosa Parks, and Indira Gandhi. Are you comfortable with being called an American hero? Well, uh, I, I think that when we do this work, we're not uh, trying to make history. Uh, we're not seeking recognition. Uh, we're just trying to bring some justice uh, to the people that deserve it. Seven states have a formal holiday honoring Cesar Chavez, and although Dolores did as much as he for the farm workers, she's not as well known. Totally fine with that. People who knew Cesar realized that this man was a genius. I mean, people like Cesar Chavez only come along, I think, once every thousand years or whatever, because he had such an instinct for organizing. The photo exhibit, Dolores Huerta, Revolution in the Fields, is on display at Sacramento's California Museum through the 7th of July. Get a chance to interview a lot of people. Mm -hmm. She's a true icon and obviously was not in all this for the money. Right. This is a struggle, a long struggle. Exactly. And, you know, if you think that that has nothing to do with you, every single mm -hmm. uh, stalk of broccoli, for example, yep. is cut by hand. There's no automation for some of these fruits and vegetables out there. It's literally from human hand to your plate. 